Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And not much on this one takes it from the 21. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. Miles Sanders' first carry of the game. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Oh, the sneak, it's Hurts. And yeah, no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Sanders is going backwards here. Oh, they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal. 
eluding the pressure right. Hard throw, incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So Hertz is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And they're not going to get the kick off in time. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I would hang my head over that one. That's a good drive. And three points were put on the board. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at their own 22. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Winston again, it's Camara. And he got blown up on that play back at the 20. Fourth down, Winston looking long for Thomas. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head-scratcher there. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. But first down, Hurts. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Throwing his hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. 18 rattle, 18 rattle. 19 tight, 19 tight. Panther 11, Panther 11. Three nothing after one on EA Sport. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia and it's the Eagles in possession. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage.
Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is caught by Watkins. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Hurts to throw. This is caught. Touchdown. Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. the touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because the reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they fail. Now the pressure back on their offense to pick themselves up and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. On second down, Winston again. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. They wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So now after the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Fielded just inside the 30. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. Give them four on the carry there at second and goal. Camara trying again, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Camara 
A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front. Offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. In motion comes the tight end left. Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll go again with Sanders. And he gets it down to the 32. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And some space here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. Come on, check, come on, check. Back to 50, back to 50. Go. They run behind center with Gainwell. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Demario Davis there on the stop. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half, and that'll give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for. They got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Elliott good on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. 
And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Winston now to throw on first down. And this one too low. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Jameis to throw it. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. First down, Winston. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. They'll throw again. Winston. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now Thomas will come in motion right. Jameis now on first down. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Back to Kamara for another catch. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. 
Kamara with a run on first down, but he's fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage there. No gain. Looking to throw on second down. Winston. They'll get this out to Kamara. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Play fake. Winston. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. A give running left. It's Sanders. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 82 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. To throw again on second down, Hurts. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. Looking to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Out of his end zone, Winston. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. The emotion right is Thomas. On second and 11 now, Winston. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick, but instead it's third down. That has not been the best game for him, but he definitely tried to get by with a little help from his friend there, trying to create a big play. Couldn't do it, fell in completely. But you're right, it hasn't been a banner game here in the second half, just trying to get going. Big thing is trying to keep confidence up and continue to foul. And meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now Winston on fourth down. 
flushed out right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. Another run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some, some momentum here, Charles. But they're trailing defensively. Maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are. But what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize on it and take it away from them. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles will take over possession here up at the 34. Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly. And what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. 129 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Running right, here's Sanders. And he's got some space here. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 